today I'm going to show you how to make homemade cheese tortellini. This is using our Ruby pasta that we've already made, our pasta dough. So first I'm going to make the filling. So basically you just want to add 16 ounces of cream cheese. Now you can do this recipe in half if you want. Um, we have a big family, there's eight of us, so most of our recipes are pretty big, but they're easy to cut in half. One cup of cottage cheese. Uh, you can use ricotta if you like. Um, for us, when we're feeding so many of us, cottage cheese is definitely a budget, budget substitute. And then next, one cup of Parmesan cheese. And I mean, you can tell obviously I don't always measure everything. I just kind of just eyeball it, right? You, you measure it with your heart. So um, as you're mixing these together, the, the lumps in the cottage cheese is going to smooth out. So if that's something you are concerned about, don't worry, it'll smooth right out. And then you got three eggs. Now, um, and this, this came out a little on the runny side. If you want it thicker, just do two eggs instead. And then we've got two teaspoons of your favorite Italian seasoning. Um, and, and this, again, can be to your taste. If you want to do a little bit different seasonings each time, that's fine. This is going to be your cheese filling. So what I find is easiest is roll the top of your Ziploc bag back. The reason is, is as you're filling the bag, if you get any droplets on the edges or anything like that, it's e you just roll it back up. So see how I got some on the edge? Well, once you roll it up, it gives you a clean top to your bag. And this is what we're going to use to fill our tortellini. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. Now we're going to work with our dough. So this is our pre-made Ruby dough. And if you want to learn more about this, how to make the dough and all that, you can check out our other videos. We have a, a whole Ruby playlist. Um, so just get your, your countertop floured a little bit. You want to press this out a little bit by hand before running it through your machine the first time. And then from this point, you're going to go just like making any pasta. You're going to gradually make it thinner and thinner each time. Run it through the machine a couple times and then just adjust your, your machine setting. I usually don't go higher than a three or a four. You start on a one, which is the the thickest setting and then I, I usually don't go to a three or f past three or four. So at this point just cut, you're going to you know sharpen your edges at the end and get rid of the the waste, the, where the curves are and then we're just going to cut it into squares here. And now that we have our mixture on your plastic bag, your Ziploc bag, just clip the very corner. You don't want to do too much. Remember you can always make the hole bigger but you can't make it smaller. So start small and you can always clip and adjust it from there. So we're just going to spread a little bit on each square. Now this is making the tortellini. You match up two corners, press it together so you're making kind of a triangle there, and then you're going to wrap it around itself and press the ends. So it kind of looks like a little, a little napkin kind of. If you're having a hard time with your dough sticking, use a little bit of water here. I did this, and this, some of this dough had, had sat out while I was making the video and it started to get dry out. So just dip your finger in a little bit of water and trace the edges where you're going to pinch the dough together, and that'll help it sit together. Then you just cook it for about two minutes. It doesn't take very long to cook at all. And there you have your tortellini, and put whatever sauce you like on it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.